Central Denison. It's Fan Friday. I'm a big fan of the Wisconsin Badgers. I thought today would be a great day to read a book to you like Hello Bucky. But then when I started looking at this book, I thought, you know, Bucky Badger, the mascot, is really a cool badger, but I've never seen a badger in real life. Maybe instead of reading Hello Bucky, I should share with you a book about a real badger, American Badgers. After we read American Badgers, I'll demonstrate how to make Bucky Badger oatmeal cookies. American Badgers. American Badgers by Rebecca Sabelko. This book has a table of contents. This is a non-fiction book. What are American Badgers? American Badgers are solitary animals that like to rest. In the winter, they can sleep for 29 hours straight. Each summer, these mammals prowl much of the United States. They are also found in parts of Canada and Mexico. Dry grasslands are American Badgers' usual habitat. Hunting for burrowing animals is easier in open fields. American badgers dig dens deep in the ground. These include many tunnels and a large room for sleeping. Built to dig. American badgers are powerful diggers. Muscular legs and long claws help them dig quickly. Three eyelids keep their eyes safe while digging. Their cone-shaped heads make moving underground easy. Size of an American Badger. Living underground means a short height is important. These badgers only stand nine inches tall. They can grow up to three feet long. American Badgers have grayish fur. Their faces are dark with a white stripe running from their noses to their backs. Identify an American Badger. Short legs, cone-shaped head, long, heavy claws. Badgers have scent glands near their tails. These give off a stinky smell that warns others to stay away. Surprise attack! American badgers can smell prey hiding underground. They use their mighty claws to dig straight for the animal. Then they attack. On the menu, prairie dogs, pocket gophers, deer mice, American grasshoppers, bank swallows, prairie rattlesnakes. These carnivores bury large meals. They store the food in caches to eat later. The cool ground keeps meat fresh. When American badgers meet predators, they often fight back. Claws and teeth protect the badgers from harm. Sometimes American badgers escape underground. Enemies have a hard time getting past their defenses. Cozy Kits. Female badgers have up to five kits in spring. Kits are born blind and have very little fur. These baby badgers nurse for up to three months. grass -line dens keep them safe and warm. Kits learn to hunt and dig outside the den six weeks after birth. Soon the kits are ready to be on their own. They search the grasslands for a new home. Baby facts. Name for babies, kits. Size of litter, one to five kits. Length of pregnancy, about six weeks. Time spent with mom, five to six months. Now we have a glossary at the back of our story and we have more information we can find in other sources and there's even an index. Here are the tools you'll need for making Bucky Badger oatmeal cookies. You'll need a large mixing bowl, a medium sized mixing bowl, you'll need a spoon or spatula for stirring, you'll need a measuring teaspoon, a measuring cup, 
If you have a half cup for measuring, that's also really helpful. You'll need an electric mixer, and when it comes time to put your cookies on the cookie sheet, it's helpful if you have a cookie scoop. If you don't have a cookie scoop, you can just use a regular spoon. Your cookie sheets could be lined with parchment paper. That makes it really easy to get the cookies off of the sheet and it makes cleanup easy. These are the ingredients you'll need to make Bucky Badger oatmeal cookies. You'll need flour, white sugar, brown sugar, salt, vanilla, two eggs, baking powder, baking soda, and butter. You'll also need oatmeal. You could use quick cooking oats. You could also use old fashioned oats. I like to use a combination of the two. Since these are Bucky Badger oatmeal cookies and the Badger's colors are red and white, you'll need to use white chocolate chips. You'll also need some red dried fruit. Now cranberries come from Wisconsin, so that would be a great choice. And dried cherries would also be a great choice. You'll need some coconut, and if you'd like, you can add nuts, but that's optional. If you don't care for nuts, you can leave them out. First, let's combine our dry ingredients. In our medium-sized bowl, we'll place one and a half cups of flour. We'll add three cups of oatmeal. We're doing a combination of quick oats and old-fashioned oats. Quick. We'll add one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. We'll add one half teaspoon of salt. Then we'll stir to combine the dry ingredients. In the large bowl, add one cup of butter. That's two sticks of butter and they should be room temperature. Add one cup of brown sugar and one half cup of white sugar. Then you'll mix with your electric mixer. Next, add two teaspoons of vanilla. One, two, and add two eggs. One, two. And again, mix with your electric mixer. Next, add about half of the dry ingredients and mix. Then you'll add the remainder of the dry ingredients and at this point we'll add three-fourths of a cup of dried cranberries. We're going to add three-fourths of a cup of dried cherries so we have the red in there. So the cranberries and the cherries give us the red for the badgers. We'll add one cup of coconut. We'll add about three-fourths of a cup of walnuts. You don't have to put nuts in if you don't want to. Pecans are really good too. Mix those a little bit. Before the dry ingredients and the cranberries and cherries and coconut are completely combined, you're gonna stop and add a bag of white chocolate chips. We need red and white for the badgers. You could stir these in with a spoon by hand, or you can just go for it and use the mixer.
Now our Bucky Badger oatmeal cookies are ready to scoop. We're gonna scoop them into balls and place them in a pan lined with wax paper. We're gonna let them chill in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes before we bake them. That helps to prevent the cookies from spreading out too much when they get into the oven. If you wanted to, you could just put the whole bowl of dough into the refrigerator, cover it with plastic wrap, and let it chill. But I like to have the dough balls formed so that I don't have to do that later on. Get the mess over with all at once. Now this pan of dough balls is ready to go into the refrigerator to chill for about 30 minutes. Place the cookie dough balls on the cookie sheet lined with parchment paper, not too close together. And put them in the oven at 350 degrees. If you like the book American Badgers, you might also like to read Hello Bucky or About Wisconsin. Now I think it's time for us to try our Bucky Badger oatmeal cookies. Mmm, that's delicious. Now if you ever meet Mr. Porno, don't tell him that these are called Bucky Badger oatmeal cookies because he's a big Michigan fan. Happy Fan Friday, everybody!